In the ongoing pandemic, the Utah governor's race is unfolding. This week, ABC4's chief political correspondent Glenn Mills is interviewing the leading candidates and joins us now in the studio. Glenn? Yeah, Rick, these are tough times we're going through, so we're checking in with candidates for governor to get their thoughts on COVID-19 and moving forward. Today, we are catching up with former Utah GOP chair and businessman Thomas Wright. Thomas joins us now just live outside the studio. Thomas, great to have you with us. These are uncertain times. We're all nervous, on edge. What's your message to Utahns right now? We got this. Together, we can make this happen. Utahns are resilient. Uh, we know this is a difficult time. People are feeling a little anxious, a little unsure, but there's a plan in place, it's in motion, and we're gonna get through this together, and we'll look back and we'll remember how we rallied around each other, we served each other, we looked out for each other, and we did it the Utah way. Let's talk about the way forward. We're starting to get a lot of questions around whether or not there should be a stay-at-home order. Do you believe that should happen, or do you believe the steps you are taking right now are sufficient? I think the steps we're taking now are sufficient and we should continue in that direction. I'd also like to see improvement on the numbers of tests that are available. We have a great biomed industry here in Utah. We should deploy them as much as we can to do as much testing as we can. The places that are having success with COVID-19 are the places that are testing and identifying people who are infected that don't know they're infected and making sure that they are self-quarantining so they're not spreading the disease. Thomas, so I'd like to play I'd like to play a little bit more offense on the testing part of it mm -hmm. and see if we can take care of things that way. Uh, we have people who are at home not able to work. Uh, we're seeing people line up for unemployment. What is the way forward economically? You are a business owner yourself. The impact is far reaching here. So where do we move to overcome this? Well, as a business owner, you know, I, when I started to run for governor, I had no idea that we'd be dealing with this, right? And business owners everywhere are trying to figure out how to manage their businesses, how to make payroll, how to pay their rent. I had one employee, unbelievable story, Glenn, who said, you know what, don't pay me for a couple of weeks if it will help you. I'd never do that, but that's the kind of people we have in Utah. But business owners are really feeling the pinch right now, so we need to support our local businesses as much as we can. But as a business owner, I uniquely understand how this COVID-19 uh, epidemic is impacting business owners, and I want to use that as governor when I'm elected to help us recover from this. So specifically, what are the things, some of the things that should be done to help businesses recover? Well, one of the things is we need to support them. I mean, we need to make sure that we're out supporting them as much as we can, practicing safe social distancing, but we need to see how far and how deep this goes and what the true impact is on businesses, what the federal government is willing to do if they can get their act together and start working together and creating solutions for our country. And then Utah can take a look at it and see where we are, but we don't know how far it's going. We don't know how deep it will go and we don't know what the federal government will do. So that, that's a, that will be an ongoing discussion that we need to have. Okay, you are already on the primary ballot. You qualified through signatures. You were the first one to get those in and uh, get on the ballot. But still, we had no caucuses. There's a whole new system in place for convention. How is this shifting your strategy campaign-wise? Well, when, you know, when things change, this is where you get to see how candidates react. You get to see what they'll do in times of crisis. And what we did is we took our plan and we revised it. And we're doing tele-town hall meetings. We're doing Facebook Live. We're calling people. We're practicing safe social distancing. And we're adjusting our campaign. We're all going to have to do it. And I think it's great for the voters. They get to see how we all react and see how we'll react in times like this and what better test or measure for a future governor than seeing how uh, adaptive they are, how athletic they are, how, how agile they are, and how they can adapt in difficult times. I think it's a great test during a campaign and uh, we're just gonna continue to work hard and keep doing the right things some and take have, our message to voters. Thomas, some have suggested that some dates and deadlines should be pushed back to accommodate for these unprecedented times we're experiencing. Do you believe that should happen? Well, there's another path to the ballot. We all have two paths to the ballot. Uh, we've all chosen different paths and we're all executing our campaigns in different ways. One thing you can't do though, we know, is you can't change the rules in the middle of the game. If you do that, then you have unintended consequences that affect people. So we still have a great convention coming up in 30 days. There's a path to the ballot. Signature deadline right. hasn't passed yet. So everybody's had, been playing by the same rules and we should just continue on that path. We are going to have to end it on that note. We certainly appreciate your time. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you, Glenn. Thanks for having me. We'll be right